My name is Gregor Sai Jackson. I'm from Jackson Labs Technologies, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're here at the JNC 2019 introducing a couple new products uh, that we um, have developed. One of which is the smallest uh, 10 channel GPS simulator in the world. It's less than one by one inch by half an inch and uh, basically allows you to retrofit equipment with uh, uh, the capability to upgrade your GPS receivers to M-code, uh, SASM capability, INS capability, and alternate navigation uh, capabilities. So there are two papers at this show um, that are discussing uh, the Air Force uh, successfully flying different aircraft that use this capability to retrofit their existing EW pods and even the autopilot of the airplane uh, to be connected to an INS system. In that case, the uh, uh, Honeywell uh, HE 9900 uh, IMU um, fused together in, in an algorithm that takes uh, basically uh, terrain matching, uh, vision-based navigation, uh, laser-fixed navigation, and other alternate navigation systems uh, all brought into this little encoder and out comes an RF signal that uh, then gets fed to the uh, antenna uh, system of the aircraft and all the GPS receivers on the aircraft uh, fly beautifully um, and, and, and uh, track beautifully uh, in a fully jammed environment. We've taken that technology a little bit further and we've integrated it into this uh, product which we call the PNT 5500. Uh, it's got capabilities of uh, PTP 1588 Grandmaster and Slave, uh, supports 256 uh, uh, different Slave uh, units uh, when set to Grandmaster mode, has different uh, front end capabilities, SASM, M code is coming pretty soon. Uh, it's got a built in INS and it's also got the uh, what we call the uh, microtranscoder built in, which allows you to uh, feed an RF feed out of this unit into your equipment. So you don't have to open your equipment and retrofit your equipment internally, you can do that externally now. Um, it's available uh, within the next couple of weeks. We're testing the first prototypes. This is in mass production, and we're successfully uh, shipping these units into the field and applying them uh, in jammed environments in country.